Hey guys, how's it going? I'm your Rosie Game in the Masterbox, and today we're going to be kicking off the brand new episode of World's Greatest Manager. And guys, today um, it was a little bit interesting. I decided to pick the team myself for one reason, really. And that's because, um, well, to be honest, like you guys didn't like any of the teams that were in the actual comment section of the previous video of Aston Villa. And uh, because... and and it, what am I trying to say? Because uh, the most liked, uh, the most liked team will always be the team that I play as in the next episode. I had to improvise pretty much, so I took the liberty and decided to pick a team for myself. And guys, guess what team I picked? Today I'm going to be playing as Barcelona B. But either way, guys, let's have a look at what we got. Okay. Um, so for a team of this stature, I mean, we got a we got a lot of really young players. We got some good players in starting eleven, some good, you know, some good. Uh, what I'm saying, some good uh, people on the bench. And uh, wait, what the hell is? Is that Leo? Ma hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Excuse me, guys. Yeah, Gardola. Yeah, yeah. How you going? It's Masterbox. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm the new manager of uh, Barcelona. Oh, hey, look, mate. Um, uh, I just, I was just calling you up because uh, I noticed. Yeah, something pretty. Odd. Uh, yeah, um, have you dropped Leo Messi? Why, yeah, because I noticed he was in my Barcelona B's reserves, and, you know, I was just wondering, what, what's up? Mm-hmm. 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 Ah, see. Si. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, no, that, that makes perfect sense. Nah, okay, yeah, nah, cool. Yeah, yeah, alright, we'll catch up for a beer soon. Alright, yeah, catch you later, good old. Yeah, yeah, bye. Okay, just got off the phone, and it turns out that the reason he got dropped was because he has scored the exact same amount of goals as Emil Heskey this year. True fact. True fucking fact. And if that's... And that's pretty, um... That's pretty embarrassing. So, you know, you can't really complain with Joseph Gardola's logic there. I mean, he's, uh, he doesn't win six freaking titles in one year for nothing. But either way, guys. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm now... I've got Leo Messi at my disposal. <laughs> awesome. So, either way, guys, uh... On that bombshell, I guess we may as well come up with a brand new formula. Or formula. Fucking formation. So, uh, just give me a minute. Okay, welcome back. Yep. How awesome is this? You know how I still have not scored with a goalkeeper in FIFA 12, or at least in this series? Well, I kind of feel like there are absolutely no excuses now. If I am going to score with a goalkeeper in this freaking series, then the surely, if I can't do it, if I can only do it with one person in this entire game, it has got to be Leo Messi. With his amazing pace and dribbling and skill and just, oh, completely unexcusable for not scoring with Messi in goals. But as you can see, the formation is purposely set up for that exact same, for that one goal, for that goalkeeper goal, if you wanted to call it that. And as you can see, all the players push to the wing and it's just a straight ahead Beautiful run, straight, clear shot. What am I trying to say? It's just a clear run. They're getting out of his way. Messi is just going to charge all the way up to the other end of the pitch and then smash it in the goal. And the keeper is not going to do anything about it. And I am finally going to score with my goalkeeper. It's going to happen. But first, in order to do that, I'm going to have to beat De Gea because the next, or should I say, the first team that I'm versing in this episode is Manchester United. Let's do this. Oh. God damn it. Danny Welbeck scores. Not the best start. Danny Welbeck scores again. Not the best start. Hey, I scored. That's pretty good. And then I score again. And then Danny Welbeck completes his hat trick. Okay, well, the plan here was for me to try and get some breathing space. Like, two goals, preferably, before I tried to score this goal with Messi. Because really, you know... I, I want to still win the game, but... So either way, Danny Welbeck had scored three goals. I'm able to get another one back pretty much instantaneously, so I was pretty proud of that. And, of course, it was time for a Leo Messi run. I had to at least try, but that didn't work very well. And then Gig scored. So... So, yeah, I lost the game 4-3, but really, it's not because I was... It's not because the other guy was better than me. I mean, I had to make an effort to at least try to score with Messi. But nonetheless, we lost that game 4-3. Maybe we can try it again. Who am I going to verse now? Oh, some shit's about to go down now, son. So it's me v. Gardola. 
It's Barca versus Barca, B. So, let's do this. Come on. At the camp now. The crowd is pumped and ready to go. And we kick off. Oh, for God's sake. Chavi scores. That selfish prick. Instead of laying off a pass, which she could have easily done, seeing as he is Chavi, he just decides to be a total prick and really selfish and score a goal himself. And then he decided to be another total prick complete selfish prick and score again. You could have easily laid a pass off there, Chavi. I mean, for God's sakes. I mean, you're supposed to be... You could have found someone in a better position, and if not, you would have made one yourself. I mean, you don't score. You're so selfish, Chavi. But either way, Christian Teller was going through. Maybe I might be able to get some stuff back. It's a great run from him. He'll have a shot and... What the hell? You wouldn't have put a goal on the other side of the goal, and that ball still wouldn't have gone into that goal. And I swear to God, as soon as that happened to me, I'm like, you know what? I'm bugging out. That's bullcrap. <laughs> Absolute. Well, all right. Well, so far, what had happened? We'd versus two teams, all five-star teams, all very hard-to-beat teams. For, it seems like, I mean, I'm playing as Barcelona B, guys. I mean, you shouldn't need to play as the best teams in the game to beat me. For God's sakes, let's hope that the next guy that I verse isn't a complete asshole and plays as a five-star team. Oh, come on! But nonetheless, it looks like it's Barcelona B versus AC Milan. Uh, let's do this. A slow start to the half, but Rodri was going through with a fake shot, getting behind his defender and shooting and getting blocked. Unfortunate there. But it'll go to Aquilani, who cuts out, whose pass is cut out, goes back to Rodri, and this, yes, first goal. Rodri done it right at the end of the first half. Beautiful time to score a goal, nonetheless. It is 1-0, and Barcelona B have gotten the breakthrough. But either way, we did reach half time. Second half began. And now Christian Teller on the ball after he gets past, and he just keeps the ball, stationary position to get past his man, roulettes beautifully, now he's going for a run here, can he get behind his defender, yes, with a fake shot, will he shoot, no, he passes to uh, Del Fuego, and now he goes back to Christian Teller, for work, through goal, bang, beautiful stuff, he didn't take the shot first time, and that is beautiful decision making from Christian Teller, because he had all the space in the world for that one, and he just puts it, Directly in the bottom corner, sensational stuff. And guess what, guys? Barcelona B, two goals up. They have some breathing space. It's time for Messi. Messi starts his run. Messi goes. This is his first run attempt at goal. And Messi cannot be touched. Messi's still going through. Messi, great roulette. Messi, Messi's gone through. Come on, Lionel Messi. Oh, just wide. Oh, so close. Maybe we'll try it again. Let's keep going. Messi's got the ball again. He has another attempt. His second attempt of the day. Can he go through? He doesn't need any sort of skills here. He's got his footwork. His amazing dribbling. He's just running past his defenders with ease. He's going through again. He's getting pretty close here. A traditional and classic Messi run. Oh, saved by Abiati. God damn it. That was so close. His second attempt. Such a, what a great run. Beautiful dribbling around this AC Milan team. Just unfortunately not getting it this time around. But hey, you keep on trying if you can't get that goal. Messi was going through though, but he was tackled. And instead of running his ass back to the goal, he sits and he complains. So now AC Milan have got the ball. He'll pass to Pato and... Wait, he's given offside. Um... I, might, I may not know an awful lot about the laws of soccer, football, but that doesn't seem okay. But either way, that's in the past. Messi, ho oh, ho, he's got a swagger about him. Very nice. Messi's going through now, running down the wings. Can he beat the defense? He's got. He's done some pretty good jobs so far. And now Messi's in behind him. Can they go through? Messi, fake shot to get around the defender. Go, Messi! No! No! Fuck no! Oh, come on! This is just impossible! Oh, oh, man, this is impossible. Messi's on the ball, but he is tackled by Taiwo. And now AC Milan are charging towards an empty net. And some great defending from Sergio Gomez. But Ibrahimovic gets in the way of the pass. Empty net. Bang! Oh, he's missed it. He's missed it. He's actually missed an empty net. Oh, it's still a clean sheet for Barcelona B. Now Messi's had the ball in this half for a while now. Goes through Messi, roulettes, beautiful, another roulette, Messi's through, this time shot, no, 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 that's 
it. No, okay. That's it. Uh, no more. No more. That's... Uh, I'm going to stop trying. Forget about it. Guys, that's it. The game ended 2-0. That's all. I'm, I'm just going to leave it. No more trying. You know what, guys? I I'm finishing it there. That's it. Whatever. That's the end of this game. Obviously, something somewhere doesn't want me to score with the goalkeeper. And if I can't do it with Lionel Messi, then who can I do it with? Maybe Tim Howard. Maybe maybe I'll give it a go with Tim Howard someday. But, uh, yeah, that's all That's all up to you guys. You want me to play as Everton? You want me to play as USA? Put it in the comment section. Or maybe I don't suck. Maybe I'm just trying to prolong the life of this ridiculous joke of mine. But nonetheless, guys, I guess that's really it for this... Uh, uh, what am I saying? This World's Greatest Manager episode. So once again, guys, uh, thank you once again for watching. I don't actually have any ending footage of the game, so I don't know, I'll just run some random gameplay uh, at some point, but uh, yeah, pretty much guys, uh, that's all i got to say, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and guys, comment in the comment section below, what team do you want me to play as, if you haven't seen your team that you want me to play as, put it in the comment section below, if you see the team you want me to play as, then like that comment, because the top like comment will always be the team that I play as next, so guys, so either way guys, get cracking, get to liking the video, and the comment of the team that you want me to play as. Comment as well. Don't forget to subscribe. That's all i got to say. Enough plugs from me, guys. Another video, that video explaining this whole situation coming out very soon. Probably in about two or three days' time. But pretty much that's it for me. Thank you once again for watching. I'm your Rosie Game of the Masterbox. And I will catch you next time.